name is Sumitra and I'm 14 years old. Today, I would like to share a story with a moral ending. The title of my story is The Wise King. Once, there lived a very wise king. His name was King Solomon. Now, King Solomon was one of the many sons of King David. He was famous throughout the land. His people lived happily because he was a very kind ruler. He, King Solomon ruled with wisdom for 40 years. Now, that's a big number. Rulers from afar and behind. Not only was he wise, but his subjects loved him very much too. One day, a queen from a nearby country came to visit him. She wanted to test King Solomon's ways of problem solving. She said, Your Majesty, I have two flowers in my head. One is real and one is artificial. And I want you to guess which is real and which is artificial without touching or smelling them. King Solomon kept quiet. He closed his eyes and started thinking. He then opened his eyes and looked around. He closed his eyes and went to deep thought. There was complete silence. The queen felt very happy because she thought that King Solomon did not know the answer. King Solomon said, God opened all the windows so that fresh air can come in. The gods listened and opened all the windows in the palace. At that time, a few butterflies flew inside and settled on the queen's right hand. Then they flew to the queen's left hand. King Solomon realized that the butterflies stayed longer on that particular flower. The butterflies were trying to suck, ne suck nectar from that flower. King Solomon said, the flower in your right hand is artificial, whereas the flower in your left hand is real. How did you know? asked the king. The butterflies were trying to suck nectar from that flower. Only real flowers have nectars. The queen praised the king and said, You are truly a wise king. The moral of the story is, creativity is your best solving tool. You need to get creative to solve all your problems. Thank you.